The defense industry of the Russian Federation has slid to the level of the 1960s, how the lack of modern weapons affects the Russian army, expert explained. Due to the imposed sanctions, the Russian military industry is not able to make up for the loss of equipment and weapons, since the production of many samples depends on foreign components. This was announced on the air of the Freedom TV channel by the Director of Military Programs of the Ukrainian Center for Economic and Political Studies. A. Razumkov Nikolai Sungurovsky, Russian industry not only does not have time to make up for the costs that are spent at the front, it does not have such an opportunity. After all, many types of weapons that are used in the Russian army have an imported component, parts, components that were supplied, for example, from Western countries, Germany, France, the United States, and so on. Since the beginning of the war, with the imposition of sanctions, this opportunity has been lost, since critical imports to Russia have ceased, he said. Until nowadays, the Russian military-industrial complex could produce these types of weapons using previously accumulated stocks of components. But stocks have run out. But import substitution in the Russian Federation was never implemented because the funds allocated for these programs were embezzled. And now the critical stocks of the defense industry are over, but there are no new receipts. Sungurovsky noted that in the current realities, the defense industry of the Russian Federation is forced to switch to the production, roughly speaking, of equipment of the 60s of the last century. And this means a complete failure of the defense potential of the Russian army. And on the front line, the Russian army is forced to replace the lack of modern weapons simply with cannon fodder. And this is an increase in losses, this is the demoralization of the armed forces, which is expressed in the same desertion, surrender, in the refusal to mobilize, the expert listed. In such a situation, taking into account the constant military assistance of the West, the advantage at the front is in favor of Ukraine. Moreover, the Russians are fleeing the battlefield and leaving behind their equipment, many of which are in combat condition or in need of minor repairs. For example, for the counteroffensive, we especially need armored vehicles, the same tanks. And today the main supplier of these tanks is, oddly enough, Russia itself. Figures have already been published that since the beginning of a full-scale war, we have already captured hundreds of Russian ones. And they are already in our ranks, that is, they are working for our victory," Sungurovsky added. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, Ukrainian troops have captured more than 1,000 Russian armored vehicles, at least 440 Russian tanks and about 650 other armored vehicles. And now more than half of the tank fleet of the armed forces of Ukraine potentially consists of captured Russian equipment.